Aloha and welcome to UH News. I'm Mark Rolona, a student at UH Manoa. Could biofuel be the answer to Hawaii's energy needs? A team from UH is in the process of answering that question. Imagine if this field of tropical grass in Waimanalo, that literally grows like weeds and year round, could be turned into electricity, jet fuel, or even gasoline for your car. Locally produced renewable energy that would end Hawaii's severe dependence on foreign oil and serve as a model to the world. UH Manoa's College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources, or CTAR, is in the process of determining if that dream could become a reality. When people ask me, is it economic viable at this point, you know, we, I say we don't have the answers yet, but that's why we do research. CTAR and its project partners have been awarded a four-year, $6 million federal grant for the research, part of a $41 million investment on 13 projects nationwide. The goal? To spur innovation in bioenergy. It starts with the fast-growing tropical grass and a lot of questions. Which crops uh, do the best in the different environments? And it's not only yield, but how much input is, is required, like water, like fertilizer, like uh, pest control. The research is also looking into the harvesting, pre-processing, and the conversion of the grass or biomass into fuel like diesel and gasoline. We need to convert biomass from a solid form into something that we can use in our everyday life. The research reactor operated by the Hawaii Natural Energy Institute converts the biomass into carbon monoxide and hydrogen that can be turned into electricity or converted into liquid fuel. It is one of the many conversion methods being examined. No stone is being left unturned as UH researchers look into every aspect of biofuel and its future in Hawaii. Getting off of petroleum is, is very important for us, uh, for energy security, for economic development, uh, and to uh, you know, help put some of our agricultural lands back into production. It's really going to come down to the economics and the, basically the sustainability. And now, a community college is going the extra mile when it comes to supporting students with military ties. Nearly 8,000 students attend Leeward Community College. 60% are women, about 25% are Hawaiian or part Hawaiian, and 12% are active duty military, veterans or dependents. And Leeward is paying close attention to its demographics. So we're really just trying to step up our game and specifically focus on the needs of you know, individual groups. And so the veterans are certainly one of our priorities. It shows. The college has dramatically increased its military and veteran services in the last 12 months and began holding events in fall 2012 on the first Friday of each month. We are so happy that our mill vets are here. It's called First Friday and gets faculty, support staff, and the students together on a regular basis. And we want our mill vets to have a place that they can come and tell us this is what we need so that we can address their needs. We will be heard and our, our concerns will be heard and, and uh, I guess we can, we can voice those concerns to somebody that uh, will be listening. So um, that's, that's huge. First Friday also provides a sense of place and an opportunity for veterans to network and is just the latest step the college has taken. The school has hired a full-time grant writer who has secured numerous grants to pay for things like testing so veterans can earn college-level credits for past experience. Leeward has also hired a full-time veterans coordinator. She helped out so much. She's like our liaison within like the getting our benefits and transferred over here, so without having us to do a lot of the paperwork. So we're just trying to combine our efforts as a campus to help our mill vet, to bring the resources to them and get organized so that, we, that they can take the maximum benefits out of their GI bills. There is a lot of synergy between the different efforts. Efforts that are greatly appreciated. Things that needed, you know, changing and, and they've, they've put forth the effort and, and taken the steps toward it. Mahalo for watching UH News. I'm Mark Rilona. For more videos and stories, please go to www.hawaii.edu and click on UH News.